Wait, that song's copyrighted. Greetings, my friends. And you're probably wondering, where am I? Well, this is the tribute center for the first actual monthly Hunger Games. Let me explain. I used to do several Hunger Game Roblox Hunger Games with my friends. Um, but they were quite terrible. There was never a really good training system, and they had spectator modes that could allow for cheating. But this Hunger Games, I'm redoing it all. Now, there is a tribute center. Now, there is a training room, which is also the same room used for the private training, which is when the tributes are given their score. We have more weapons for the Hunger Games. We have a guy over here who tells you that there are going to be more weapons added in the future. Now, if you follow me, you will see that we also have a bunch of elevators, and you're probably wondering what these are. Well, welcome to your new room for your stay. All of the rooms are the same. Yeah, all of the rooms are the same. But you do have a TV, a toilet, a shower, this... A sink, be two beds, and you, like I said, all the rooms are the same. Now you probably saw this earlier in the in the video, and you're probably wondering what is it? What is it? Well, welcome to the Victor's Village. These are a bunch of. This is just really a bunch of unclaimed land because we have not had any victors yet. Now, you're probably wondering, when am I ever going to use this? Well, I'm planning to have a Hunger Games very soon. I have a schedule for the Hunger Games. Future, future Cat Knife, please put the schedule right over here. Thank you. Now, if we go over here, this is the interview room. I have a door here, so tributes can't go in there. went too early. So just move that. And this is the waiting room. Got a couple of nice couches. Then over here, here you can be in interviewed by our very own host, me. Oh yeah, I forgot there's fall damage. And there's that. And that, my friends, is the Hunger Games Roblox Edition. I'm going to be filming the Hunger Games and publishing it to YouTube. We hope that you enjoy this, because I'm going to be doing this every month. Goodbye. Hello everyone, today we are going to interview Oz M. Pick. So let's tell them to come. So this is the pre-game interview. Basically, this is the interview that they do before the Hunger Games. So let's tell them welcome. And let's ask them what we what they would like for us to call them. You know what, never mind. Um alright, let's ask what their strategy is. Good strategy. Now let's ask them if they are in any alliances.
All right, let's ask them what they want to do, like what weapon they want to use. All right. So let's ask them how confident they are. All right. Well, let, let's reassure her. Now, let's ask her why she's participating. Alright, so, there is really nothing else for us to ask them. Alright, let's just end it here. Greetings, everybody. We already interviewed one person, but now it's time to interview someone else. Let's tell them to come. So, uh, let's ask them what they'd like to be called. Alright, let's ask them if they're in any alliances. <clears throat> Alright. So, I guess let's ask them what their strategy is. To do wrap around around the usual bunch physics. All right, let's compliment them. Good strategy. All right, now let's ask how. Let's ask what motivated them. I don't know how to spell enthusiasm. Let's ask them how confident they are.
All right. What else should we ask them? Oh yeah, let's ask them what their weapon of choice is. A mace. All right. All right. I did build the arena. I built all of the arenas. Let's ask them how they would react if they won. This is pre-recorded, so I can't check how you guys feel about this guy yet. Um, alright, I think we're gonna end it here. One person attended. This is her. Guess I might as well show you guys the arena. So we got a couple crates over here. They didn't do anything. We have a couple of things. Sword. Food. We have some apples. Some of them are, po actually, most of them are poisonous. We had this cave over here. We had this cactus over here. Actually, all of the cactuses, uh, they damage you. We had a landmine over here. We had a bunch of rocks everywhere. A couple more landmines. We had some toxic waste over here. That's the cornucopia. Over here is a box that's meant to trick the tributes into thinking you're getting something good. When in reality, they're, um... <coughs> it's a bunch of snakes. So I guess the victor is the only person who joined, which would mean Sloth Squad Grace. She'll be getting a Victor's Village plot. And she'll also get an interview. <sighs> Goodbye. Hello everybody. As you may know, the first Hunger Games ended and one tribute attended. Meet Apple. Apple, would you like to say hello? Now, Apple, uh, how did it feel being the only tribute to attend the first Hunger Games? Oh, you were at Universal. Nice. How was it? Now, tell me, did you expect more of a competition? Would you like a tour around the arena? Alright. Well, Apple, since you were the only person to attend the first Hunger Games, that makes you the victor. 
And I have a little surprise for you if you would like to follow me. That's inaccurate because the first Hunger Games already happened. Oh shoot, I forgot to anchor that. Oh well. You said you wanted a Barbie dream house. And Willy Wonka provided. Now this Barbie dream house is actually based off an actual Barbie dream house. And here's a little trophy for winning the first Hunger Games. Yes, this is the bed. Fun fact, I made pretty much every- I made everything in this house actually made out of plastic. Because you can send materials for objects. Well, everything except for this trophy. That's metal. That's nice. Now, Apple, is there anything more you would like to say to the audience? And the people who didn't attend? Really, anybody. Alright. Well, it looks like that's going to be it for Apple's post-game interview. Apple, would you like to say goodbye to the audience? <laughs>